Hi everyone, Coach Steve here with an unusual vlog. Um, I'm still in Barcelona, as you might be able to tell from the hotel, and I'm going to be interviewing one of our smarties. Um, Anthony O'Brien, as you may have seen from social media, had a super race yesterday, finishing just outside the top 10 for overall, fourth in his age group, and this is after a slight mishap, which Anthony will tell you about himself. And also, from what I can gather from my bit of research, 11th place overall out of a field of 19,000, sorry, 9, oh, 1900 uh, athletes is probably the highest age group or position in an, in an Ironman race to date. If anyone wants to disagree with me, stick it in the comments. But we're going to have a couple of questions to Anthony, and um, if you have any other questions, stick them in the comments and we'll get a bit of feedback. All right, so over to Anthony. Oh, I'm going to turn that around now. Ooh. All righty. <laughs> Make sure you can see that. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. All right, Anthony, how are we feeling today? Broke up. Um, feel rallied. More depletion than injury, but feel like I yeah, definitely feel like I'm going to normal yesterday. Okay. And how did the race pan out for you? Are we happy after the swim? Race panned out. Swim, was happy with the swim. Got in. Felt, didn't feel like I, like I knew I was kind of, was hoping to get under 110. So I had a feeling, I was like, I'm not in here now in 10 minutes, so then when I got out and you shouted 106 and I was over the moon with that. And it was choppy, but it was grand, you know, it was grand. That's my full time doing a 3 point day. so I enjoyed it, yeah, I did enjoy it. Swim, in the transition then, yeah? Yeah. Out on the bike. Went out on the bike, coming through the lane in the first, um, coming through the lane down there in the street. Computer popped off, had to jump off, get that. Some local had to get that from me. I was like, get the computer, he got it from me. <laughs> then, two seconds later, I went up the road, the bottle in the front, the hydration mount, that popped off, had to jump off, get that. So I was, I was like, stressed at that point. I was shaking, and you know, it was like, fucking typical. All this, uh, all this going wrong straight away. Get out, we get this done. Then. So I went up, hit the roundabout, was heading out. Um, about 10k, 15k out, I think there's a McDonald's there, or a roundabout. So there was a lot of water spilling down onto the roundabout from like the car park or something. And I, I was coming through in the aero bars and I tried to take a wide, but as I took a wide, the cuff of the road slipped into like a little stream thing. Oh yeah. yeah. So the, because we're top heavy on the trolley bars, yeah. when the front wheel went into the crevice, the front wheel just went, the back wheel just came up over, you know? Ouch. So kind of spun. It was grand, like spawn, bounced up, had a, had a big elbow injury here. Nice, nice bit of road rash there, yeah. Road rash there, nothing, nothing mental. Um, there just happened to be a fella there on the roundabout. He phoned the medic, medic come up, the mechanic also come up, this fella was on the back. Oh, the mechanic came yeah, too. Fell, fell on a high vis. So I was looking at the bike and the, the bottle mount was snapped off and the precision hydration bottle was on the deck and I was like, well, that's the race over, hydration plant's going out the window. And then I was like, and then I was looking at the man and he says, get a shot your phone, I'm going to ring my missus and tell her that's me done. And I go, this is what was going on, yeah, yeah. literally done at this stage. And then I looked over and the mechanic was fixing the bottle cage. And I was like, oh, cool. yeah. he's fixing that. And I was like, can you fix this? And he goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he fixed it. I put the bottle back in there and I was like, oh, that's one problem sorted. And then I was like, right, get back on And then one of the lads went past and I seen him and I says, if he's gonna beat me today, he's gonna to walk for this. Nice. And uh, so I had painkillers because I've been carrying a bit of a neck injury. So I had painkillers on the bike just in case it comes on. It comes on after an hour kind of on the bike sometimes. Okay. So I just walked over, took the north in. I said, right, let's get to walk here. And then I raced, I raced the bike. The plan went out the window. There was no hydration, fuel, and it was just, I'm gonna throw the kitchen sink at this today. Yeah. And we'll see where we fare it out at the end. Yeah. Um, I chopped through them on the bike, you know. I was no, you were flying them. through. We were watching on the tracker, and like, you were, you were milling through I as the updates were mad. I could see them, and I was still getting past good bikers, and I caught the lads that I went out to catch. And I was like, I wasn't looking at, wasn't paying attention to numbers, time. Uh, I knew my heart rate was probably ten beats higher. Yeah, yeah. And that's all I was really paying attention to. And I knew because it's such a, it's only forty five k or forty five k back. It's not like you have ninety to go ninety back. Yeah. So it's kind of like you just do it in four segments. When you came back in, you came back quick. The you know? tailwind was at you at that stage. So that turnaround point, you came fast. You know, you were just, it was like 40k, but you blitzed it. You know, it was 50k an hour the whole way through. Yeah. Um, came in then, I was getting spasms then, coming down the lane. Muscles, all these muscles were like really tense. Anthony has shaved his legs, especially for the interview. Yeah, Thank you very right. much. <laughs> right, but uh, 
So these muscles were getting yeah. tensed up, like I mean, like vibrating. And I was like, wait, these are gonna, I was trying to shake them out and all coming down the lane. And I was like, right, this is gonna be a hard old run. I, I knew it was gonna be a hard old run, but I just said, look, we'll see how we get on. Went in, had a hydration bottle in the back with sodium in it. So I knew I could get a bit more sodium back into what I was at the losing. Yeah. I had a perfect plan for this. I had a perfect sodium hydration plan. All the numbers were done. I'd done the tests with precision hydration. Yeah. And so like, I have a bit of knowledge on it, but I just got in, got the sports bottle, neck that, and then just, just got going then, got going through the run. Started a run, that was what, 2K down, to yeah. 2K down at that red carpet. My legs were so jelly. I fell at the top of the red carpet and like tumbled down a bit of the hill. Oh, jumped God. up, gathered myself, and I was like, this is, you know, this is. You like your tumbles, you've yeah. done this a couple of times. And, and then, Got through there, got out, got down to the turnaround, and then I knew I was like, right, look, this is. Break this down to the 10k segments. As soon as I got to the 21k mark, I was like, right, this is a half marathon. You've done a million of them. You know, yeah. You've done a million of this. You can bind this out. That got me. That got me to the 10k mark, and at the 10k mark, I was like, right, this is 10k, you know? There's nothing in 10k. And you didn't pick yourself up off the floor there to start winning on the last 10k. But for that whole run, I was going to. Just walk off onto the beach, peel the tri suit down to the waist and just lie there and this is coming to collect me. <laughs> I left the part of myself out there yesterday. No, I did. And you looked you looked in pain the entire time whenever we saw you and all that, so you dug deep. And as I said, your claw back went um you were thirty seven down of water in your age group. Um by the time you got going on the bike again, you had actually dropped to sixtieth in your age group. By the time you came off your bike, you were ninth in your age group, and the time you finished the run and you just ran out of carpet, you were actually fourth. But also, you were running, uh, you went from uh, 180th overall, coming out, um, going into T1, up to 11th. Yeah, like that, like, like, like they're mad jumps, and anything can happen on the day. And I always, I, like, I hate to say, I could have done this, I could have done that, because until you pull it off, you haven't done it. But I would like to see where the perfect day can stand. You yes, know? yeah, yeah, That's agreed. Same. And again, we had the numbers, and the, the numbers, if you, if you hit them, I think we would have been could very have been, been, would have been. Yeah, could have, should have, would have, but anyhow. But a great learning experience and a great race for us, a fair play. So, what's now for Anthony? What are you going to do in the next couple of months? or? Next couple of months, catch up with my missus, because she never sees me. Catch up on some work. Um, I'll definitely be training, taking over. I'm going to dig into my swim. I'm going to be looking to get, I'm going to be looking to get, as much into that swim as I can over the next three months. I really want to focus on that in the off season now. I'm going to collar a few athletes that I've been training with this year. I've been training with a few now over the other shaker. I'm going to get down to them, do a bit with them, and just grab swim tips from everybody. Yeah. That's what, yeah, I'll take over with the run and take over with the bike. And going into next year, I've got the age group qualification for a beat the next year. Yes, for 70 lap three, the, the, the hat was the middle distance. Yeah, great. Well, who doesn't want to go to a beat? No, it's a different Ibiza than when you went I in as a younger. You get a cocktail in after. But I'd like to go for that, you know. I used to go to that place to park. Yeah, I'd yeah. love to go for this thing. You know? Well, that'd be great. Again, I presume you sit down with your coach and figure out what you're going to do. So that's in May. Yeah. So whether we make that the A race, it's really early for an A race, isn't it? Yeah. I'm mean, going throw in a bit of the other season as well. The other season was great this year. I didn't even know where the battle line was until you put me into it. Yeah, and you ended up being duathlon national champion. We got that. You got your age group podium, one had a couple of, uh, was it, local race wins, so... We had a, we had a good season. We won the podium more times than not. Yeah, absolutely. No, all good. And a couple of, like, what would you call them? A few nemesis out there in the Irish season that I'm friendly with, but they beat me, they give it to me, you know, and I want to kind of pull a few of them back. Yeah, and now they're, you're on their radar as well, so it'll be interesting next year. You're kind of the new kid on the block, and now they'll be looking for the big mop ahead flying around after them. So, any other news that you're going to share with the gang? No, so, I am getting into coaching this year with Smart Endurance Solutions, Stephen Mooney. He's going to be my mentor on coaching, and I'm getting into it. Because I'm all about this. You know, I don't say that. I love, love training, I love fitness, and I'm a motivation with these as well. Absolutely. So there you have it, there's the announcement of the first assistant coach that's coming on board. Anthony is a prime choice. He is, as you said, he's energetic. He's got the he's got the skills. He actually he can do. He, he talks the talk. He walks the walk. So from uh, November onwards, we'll be um, he'll be working very uh, closely with me, 
and it'll be a big exciting year for Smart Endurance Solutions. Okay, uh, myself and Anto are gonna now hit the pool because it's nice and sunny outside. I hope you have a nice day, guys, and uh, stay. Have a great week's training.